Welcome to another episode of Fear the Old Lore, where we look at the English and Japanese versions of FromSoft titles to gain a better understanding of the lore. So one of the most confusing aspects of Bloodborne's lore comes from trying to understand the difference between kin and great ones. According to the Ken Cold Blood description, it belongs to the inhuman kin of the cosmos, brethren of the great ones. And this has caused a bit of confusion because Rom the Vacuous Spider drops one of these at the end of her fight in the Moonside Lake. With Rom described as a great one in a trophy description, uh, I believe that she's a great one, but since she drops this Ken Cold Blood, others tend to believe that she isn't a true great one or she failed to ascend, but I don't really think there's anything in the text to support those interpretations. So I feel like this kind of deep dive into the differences between Kin and Great Ones is warranted to help try and dispel some of the confusion surrounding this topic. So going back to the description for the Kin Cold Blood, in the English version it says that it belongs to Kin of the Cosmos, whereas the Japanese doesn't bring up the Cosmos at all here. So this leads me to believe that the Kin of the Cosmos is a more specific thing that's meant to be understood as being different than what's described in Kin Cold Blood. Part of my rationale for that comes from the Great Eyes Chalice description, which talks about it being the home of the cosmic kin. The kin of the cosmos should be understood as what we should associate with the versus kin enemy type, whereas the kin and kin cold blood are meant to be completely unrelated. Although that's uh, very confusing and I feel like it's more weak writing than anything truly uh, affected by translation. When we do look at the Kin of the Cosmos or the Land of Eyes, there's kind of a thematic overlap between these kind of uh, versus kin enemy types. So for example, they're all weak to bolt and thrust style attacks, and when we look at the icon for it, it's a slug. In order to access like the Eyes Chalice dungeons, we need to use pearl slugs. Uh, when we go in there, there's like a bunch of tomb mold, and uh, a brightest daughter of the cosmos can be found in like the, the deepest layer with uh, brain suckers. So there's a lot of uh, overlaps with phantasms and whatnot with the kin of the cosmos. The biggest exception to this link to phantasms specifically may come from like the slime scholars of Bergenworth. But for what it's worth, uh, Bergenworth did begin their uh, inquiry into the cosmos due to contact with the Augur Vibritus. So maybe the, the slime scholars did some kind of experiments which made them more like phantasms or at least invertebrates because they don't really seem to have uh, proper bones to keep them upright and whatnot anymore. So before continuing too much further, let's go ahead and list the types of versus kin enemies which can appear throughout the game. Interestingly enough, the uh, fishing hamlet enemies as well as the crawlers in the Nightmare Frontier are not kin type enemies. Notably, the Celestial Emissary, at least the big boss, um, Rom the Vacuous Spider, and a Brightest Daughter of the Cosmos are kin, and they're all described as great ones in their trophy descriptions. They're all also related to the Land of Eyes, so there is that kind of consistency throughout their uh, thematic representation in the game. With that being said, not all great ones are kin either. The Moon Presence, Murgo's Wet Nurse, the Orphan of Kos, Amygdale, None of those are kin-type enemies, and to me it shows that there's a difference between the biology of something versus the kind of cold blood that it has. So for example, kin cold blood can also be found in some of like the church hunter corpses in the Nightmare of Mensis, as well as Kanehurst, but we don't really have too many people trying to argue that those church hunters were actually kin-type enemies. And... To build on that, within Tumuru Isle, there are two corpses which draw a great one cold blood, and we don't really have too many people trying to argue that the Tumerians themselves are great ones, so I think that's just kind of food for thought. So with Rom dropping a kin cold blood, I don't think that implies that she is not a great one. I mean, her trophy counteracts that, but uh, it just shows that uh, the blood that we get from her has a lot of blood echoes that's... Uh, almost on par with being a great one. I, I feel like they really should have just used a different item entirely, but what are we going to do? I don't know. So anyway, the final closing thoughts are that uh, the kin of the cosmos are related to the land of eyes. They're related to phantasms that were invertebrates. 
and great ones is just kind of like a, a status symbol and not necessarily related to biology. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of uh, YouTube fun stuff. And for all of the patrons and commenters on the previous videos, thank you. I appreciate it. It really does uh, mean a lot to me. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Fear the Old Lord.